to the story of St. Thomas. St. Thomas is known in the Bible as Doubting Thomas. Why? Because when Jesus came back, he was not so sure about whether it is Jesus or somebody else. So he questioned Jesus and he said, See, I want to know if you are truly Jesus. Now, if you have seen the cross, have you noticed that a soldier has put his lance inside his sides? Just, you know, near his ribs. Jesus Christ was bleeding from there. And it was a lance, you know. So, Thomas had asked Jesus Christ this and Jesus in turn says, you can put your fingers over there to feel whether I am really the same Jesus or somebody else. And Thomas had put his fingers over there. Everybody doubted him. Whether it was Peter or Thomas or whoever. And they all doubted him. Now, Think about the life of St. Thomas. What happened to him? He left the country and then he came to India. He came to a place, place which is called Kerala. There is St. Thomas Church over there also. Now from Kerala, because he was hounded by people, he went all the way to Madras, which is now called Chennai. And there, the locals were trying to show him away. He hid in a cave on top of a mountain. In the cave, because he was hiding from people, he was literally hounded, by the way. So he carved out a small cross. It is as big as this. It must be approximately about one, one and a half feet by one feet or something. Or maybe one and a half feet by one and a half feet. 18 inches by 18 inches. This cross is like this. The cross started bleeding. Or it is said that his hand cut and it started bleeding. Nobody knows what exactly happened. He was found. Then the locals over there, they put him to death. Later on, he was buried in the same place. Unfortunately, the Italians came and they said that we want to take his body and they took his body away. Nobody knows where, whether his body is in Italy or whether it's in India. Nobody has any clue about it. So this is the story of St. Thomas who had to go through a lot of problems in his life just because he was trying to teach the name of the God to people. Now let us take Jesus' case. Jesus also had to go through the same trouble. The moment he came back, the Romans on one side and the Jews on the other side, they started hounding him. And finally they put him on the cross. His life was not a bed of roses, it was a bed of thorns. There were thorns which were put on his crown also. I'm sure you remember that. So anybody who follows his Swadharma, it's not necessary that when you follow your calling, Swadharma means to your true calling, you are going to have a bed of roses. Nobody says that. It is going to be extremely tough. It will be painful. People will treat you very badly. And that does not mean that you give up your profession, whatever the Swadharma is. Don't give up your true calling just because some people are acting very mean with you.